Today's video is how to set up an Intex above ground pool filter. This is going to be a tutorial on how to install the pool filter for anyone just buying an Intex above ground pool. Anyone switching from a round Intex above ground pool to a rectangular Intex above ground pool, wondering if that pool filter will work. And for those of you like me who put your pool away like you were supposed to, but when you got it out, you couldn't remember how to set up the pool filter. So I'm going to go through that in today's video. So stick around if you need to know how to set up your Intex above ground pool filter. For those of you wondering, this exact pool is the Intex 8 foot 6 inch long by 5 foot 3 inch wide above ground pool that is 25 inches deep and I've got it linked as well as the other products including the swimsuit linked in the description down below. In previous years I had purchased the Intex above ground 8 foot round by 30 inch deep pool and this year my best friend convinced me to upgrade to the rectangular version. Now I personally liked the round pool better because it's deeper so when I go to actually swim my knees don't hit the bottom but my roommate calls it the cauldron and this does look more like a regular pool. So in terms of whether the round pool or the rectangular pool is better, it just depends on the amount of space you have and whether depth is more important to you or whether it looking like a more traditional pool and not a cauldron is more important to you. So on to how to actually set up the pool filter for the Intex above ground pool. And yes, you can use the filter that came with the round pool. Now the round pool generally has three holes, so it's a little bit different to set up, but you can use the filter that came with the Intex above ground round pool with any of the rectangular versions. How to set up your Intex above ground pool filter will be the same regardless of if the pool is full or if it is empty. Obviously my pool is full so I'm going to show you how to do it with a full pool which means you're going to need the plugs that came with your pool. Alright so to change the pool filter with the pool full you're going to need the plugs and what you're going to do is plug the rectangular pool has two holes, the round pool has three holes. So plug your holes if your pool is full. First you're going to start with the higher hole. In the rectangular pool again there's two holes so you're going to start with that one and you're going to need to loosen this and for those of you wondering this is the higher hole that gets like the duck mouthpiece. I don't know what to call that. But anyway, so this is in the higher hole. And to put the plug in, you need to first loosen this. You're going to pull out the piece. Oops. Okay, that's why you need the plug. Crisis averted. The next one is the lower hole. So that's what you're going to deal with next to put in the plug. So when you're setting up for the first time, you're going to have a piece that looks like this with a hole that you can see through and this piece that kind of looks like a basket. This piece needs to go in the pool hole that is higher up on the pool physically. This piece goes on the part of the pool that is lower on the pool physically. Let me see if I can show that to you. This piece goes on the lower hole on the inside of the pool. This piece goes on the hole that's higher on the inside of the pool. Okay, so if you are setting up your pool filter for the first time, you're gonna have one of these, the piece with the hole, and one of these, the piece with the basket. If you've got the round pool, you're gonna have an extra piece with the basket. And you're gonna have some extra tubing in a second but this is for taking the round pool filter that it came with going to the rectangular above ground pool that you just bought. So um, currently I've got the plugs in the pool 
But if you're setting this up for the first time, what you're gonna do is take this piece, put it in the higher hole, and I'm gonna do that right now, again, on the inside of the pool. So this is gonna go out, this piece would be facing you, and also I don't normally do this when I'm inside the pool. This is just for the video. Okay, so I am not gonna take the plug out because my hose has fallen out. Let's talk about Okay, so let's talk really quick about why I'm making this video. And the reason is because I searched like three times when getting this thing out to try and hook up the pool filter. And in all the pictures, the majority of the air bubbles are coming out of this piece. But I hate to admit this, but I did this three times. I looked up lots of YouTube tutorials on how to hook up your Intex above ground pool filter and it just wasn't giving me the exact information that I needed. This should be the piece that you have in one of your kits and when you're hooking it up. And I have this on the higher hole. Ugh. Okay, so higher hole. First, get that piece like loosely on there. And it comes with clamps. I'm just gonna put that in the pool, gonna let it float. Okay, I've already clamped this hose to the behind piece. I'm going to loosely put this clamp on. You don't want to over tighten it because you are about to pull your plug out, but you still need to push the other piece in. Okay. So I'm going to kind of hold this in to the pool since I'm in the pool while I pull that plug out. Now I have the plug out piece with the hole, higher hole on your rectangular pool. So like with the duck mouth part, this is just gonna push in once your plug is out. I'm pushing that in as far as it will go. And I'm gonna kind of twist it to get it in a little bit more so that it's as close to the wall of the pool as I can get it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that clamp like with the duck mouth piece, like pretty much as tight as I can get it. So the duck mouth piece, goes on your top hole in the pool, and that goes with the piece that just had the hole in it. Now, I have the piece that's kind of like a basket, like filter. That is going to go into the lower hole on the pool. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take out the plug that I put in, because the pool is full. These are my flamingos. So now, this is the lower hole in the pool that is currently plugged out. And this piece with the basket is gonna go in the lower hole. If you're in the pool like I am, which most people are not gonna change the pool fil filter like this, but whatever. I already have my clamp loosened on this from when I put the plug in. So now I'm gonna take this, put it in the lower hole of the physical pool. I'm gonna take the plug out. Okay, plug's out, basket is in. Again, I'm gonna kind of twist it so that it makes as much contact with the wall, the inside wall of the pool as possible. Then I am going to tighten that hose. This hose is the one with no duck mouth. I don't know what to call that other thing. I think part of where I messed up, like I had the basket on the wrong side and I had the hole on the wrong side, but something else that I didn't realize is that it is important where you have, which hose like goes into the actual like filter motor in terms of the motor for your pool filter. You'll see on the pool motor, we have a low hole or low hose and we have a high hose and a high hole. So the low hose on your pool filter goes to the higher hole on your pool. And that's the one that has the hole in it. So the low hole on the pool filter motor to the high hole on the pool. Then oppositely, the high hole on your pool motor goes to the low hole on your physical pool. If I would have thought about this enough in advance, I would have actually changed the filter filter on camera for you guys. But to do that, you're gonna plug back up your holes. Then you're gonna change the pool filter. P.S. Buying like a ton of pool filters is unnecessary. You need to have two 
pool filters and that's all. Make sure to buy the pool filters that are compatible with the pool filter pump that you have. Uh, but two is fine. I think they normally come with one. You don't need to buy like a six pack like I did. Just buy one replacement pool filter. And the reason why is you're just going to take it out. You're going to wash it off in the sink. You're going to switch it out with the new pool filter. Then once that one's dry and the one that you switched out with is dirty, you're going to do that same process again. So you would take out the pool filter, uh, put in the filter that you, is in your house, like drying put that one in then wash the one that you just took in the house until you need to switch your pool fil filters again you're gonna need to switch your pool filters about once a week and guys I'm like five foot three and I can almost whoop, that's my foot like stretch out my whole leg in the pool this little eight foot six by five foot three pool. My best friend was like, are you gonna say that you like the pool? Yes, of course I like the pool, but I liked the cauldron round pool as well. So I can totally stretch out in this pool. It's plenty big. It's perfect for a patio. Something else that I would like to say is that our backyard patio is not level. And if you read anything about these above ground index pools or best way pools or anything like that, it's like the ground has to be level. Mm, does it really though? Does it? I'm not sure because mine's definitely not level. I will show you in a second and we seem to be doing just fine. I will say that rocks seem to wind up underneath no matter what you do. So um, do try and really, really sweep the underneath of the surface you're gonna be setting your pool up on before you set up the pool because there's gonna be rocks. Um, so if your ground isn't perfectly even, your pool's probably gonna be okay. That's been my experience, the pool is Fine. It's sturdy. It's big enough for a person. I don't know if it's big enough for a pool float. We have a chlorine floater in there. Probably time to replace the chlorine. Most of my pool supplies I'm just reusing from when I had the round Intex above ground pool. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the pool filter is supposed to look like if it's working correctly. So if your Intex above ground pool filter is set up correctly, the piece with the hole in it should be the part blowing out bubbles. And as you can see, it's blowing bubbles almost to the back of the pool. And that will be what happens if your pool filter is set up correctly for your Intex pool. Please let me know if you have questions down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and 10 out of 10 would recommend this pool for all of your summer patio above ground <laughs> index pool needs. Um, it's definitely super fun and it's nice to just like be able to like cool off and float around in the pool. All right, thanks so much for watching. Shelly's Millions, I'll see you next time. You guys know I never know how to turn these off. Oh, I'm doing water. Ballet. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. It's so cool. There's me. Just my hand on one side. And plenty of space. But still. Okay. But I can't actually do a stroke. Because my hand hits the bottom. But still, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Now, on. <laughs> no meowing in the video. I've now been filming for 15 minutes. This seems very long. Happy summer.